In the beginning, when the universe was smaller than it is today, all the matter in the cosmos was closer together. That caused an enormous depression in the fabric of space. On the Earth, near the center of the universe and deep within the depression, time slowed down. During creation week on Earth, time passed as just ordinary days. But near the edge of the observable universe, during the same period, billions of years of physical processes occurred. Thus, the most distant starlight could easily traverse the vast expanse of the cosmos from the edge to the center in just a few short Earth days. Then God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. During the ordinary days of creation week on earth, Light from distant galaxies traversed billions of light years of space from the edge of the observable universe to the center. God created the cosmos such that on the sixth day of creation, when Adam looked up into the vast depths of the heavens, he could see all the splendor of God's handiwork. Forever, you are good, and your love endures forever. 
am I the only one, my king? Is it true? You are the only one. You are the one that I desire. You are the only one, my king. You sing it. Let me hear you. Sing it again. You are the only one. You are the only one. You are the only one, my King. 'Cause you are good, and your love endures forever. You are good, and your love endures forever. You are good, and your love endures forever. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. Oh. You're beyond what our words can describe. But we come into agreement with all of heaven, with all of creation, and all the angels. And we say, "You are good, and your faithful, awesome, perfect love endures forever and ever and ever."